Well, there's been a lot of talk about mental health wellness after a year and a half of the pandemic shutdown and more recently, Simone Biles withdrawing from the Olympic events. Yeah, the pandemic has certainly taken a toll on the mental health of teens and kids. 14% of the world's children and teens are now experiencing some form of a mental health condition. Joining us now to talk about this is UNICEF USA president and CEO Michael Neinheis. Thanks for being with us. Hey, thanks for having me. So we've talked a lot about mental health during the pandemic uh, and all of the unique set of circumstances that come with it. I, I just wonder if you would spend a moment talking about what that actually looks like in children and teens. Right. So um, what a difficult year for for kids. I mean, just, you know, put together this string of things, uh, remote schooling, uh, being away from teachers, social isolation, away from their friends stresses at home, whether it's families that have lost jobs or families that are dealing with with uh, uh, adults working at home and balancing that with working at uh, uh, the kids, uh, you know, schooling at home too. And that's just here in our country. Those same conditions exist and even in more dire circumstances in many places around the world. So it's just been a very difficult uh, uh, year for kids. And we've often said that the kids are sort of the invisible victims of uh, the COVID crisis. They're, they haven't been the ones, uh, at least, you know, up till now, um, seriously getting the virus itself, but all of the secondary consequences of it are landing on the heads of children. Yeah, and mental health can include a lot. I know that you've been doing a lot of this research, not just here in the U.S., but across really worldwide. And so I'm wondering, what's the breakout? What are you finding that depression cases are really what you're seeing the most of, or, or what else are you dealing with? Yeah, certainly depression, anxiety, fear, um, all of those basic uh, emotions that make it difficult sometimes just get up and move uh, in the day and to sort of get on with life. And that's why, you know, UNICEF has been promoting around the world, just asking governments to speed the process of getting kids back in school. That is such an important part of creating stability for children and sort of a safe environment for them as well. And and we just need to make sure that that happens. There's still way too many kids around the world that that uh, that, that are out of school uh, still. You know, we do uh, a lot of surveys of kids too, um, young people, uh, adolescents to find out what's on their minds. And, you know, the two issues that rise to the table, uh, rise to the top of the table for them when they tell us what they want us working on is climate change and mental health. So they feel it themselves and they want action on it. That's interesting that kids are so aware of climate change and, and mental health. Uh, so real quickly, UNICEF, I know, has its hands in a lot across the world. Uh, how are you all working to, to combat some of these issues? Well, we certainly have increased the amount of work we're doing mental health. We've prioritized it as one of our programmatic areas, one of our global advocacy efforts. You know, here in the U.S. at UNICEF USA, we're we're promoting a couple of pieces of legislation that are that are working their way through Congress. One is focused on prioritizing mental health services within foreign assistance. So that is the the dollars that we send overseas for humanitarian and development work. To, to increase uh, the proportion of that focused on mental health. And there's another important act that's going through uh, focused on students here in our own country, uh, providing uh, grants to schools to increase mental health services at school. So we think these things are really important, not just to talk about it, but to take action. All right, thank you so much, Michael Neinheis with UNICEF. We appreciate your time. Thank you. Have a great weekend.